next comic of the evening, please. You don't want to miss her. David Barber. Um, there's a lot of things in life that I really enjoy and that I love, and there's a lot of things that terrify me. And some of the things that I love in life the most are the things that also terrify me the most. For example, I love fags. I love them so, so much. First thing I do when I get up in the morning is have a fag. Last thing I do before I go to bed at night is have a fag. And it doesn't matter what kind, you know, any kind's fine, I'm not particularly fussed. But I'm also terrified of them because they give you cancer. Or chlamydia. <laughs> Depends on the kind of fag. <coughs> I'm terrified of ever losing my right hand um, because my left hand is basically there for symmetrical reasons or reasons of balance or occasionally to provide a coaster where my right hand's doing shit. And speaking of which, I don't know if you've ever had to... Um, like last year I injured my right hand when I was playing football um, and it was really badly swollen for about three or four days. I don't know if you've ever had to use your left hand or your wrong hand, whatever it is, to wipe your arse, but it is exceptionally fucking difficult. Um, suffice to say, I used a lot more toilet roll than usual. And my underwear looked a bit like a Grand Prix track after a rainy day. Um, I enjoy masturbation. Um, and I'm single, so that's fine. Um, but I've never particularly liked the idea of trying to use my left hand to have a wank either. Uh, I'd always imagine it would feel like a blind, angry chimp looking for a banana. And probably sound much the same as well, kind of... <laughs> and that's not what you want, out of a wank. So, um, I love sex as well. Um, most of us probably do when we can get it. Um, but I'm kind of terrified of it at the same time. Um, one of the main reasons would be that I'm frightened I won't measure up. Um, I should mention that I'm fond of a cockatoo, but uh, I don't like birds. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, talking key in the room. If I had been standing with us, it would have been like giving Gulliver a blowjob. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a big fear because, and probably a lot of straight men will sympathise because um, you have the thing where you sort of feel as though you've got to compete with your girlfriend's ex and, you know, they might have been bigger than you or they might have been better able to satisfy her than you were. But uh, gay men compete head to head. That's too bad. Another thing that terrifies me about sex is sexual injuries. Um, as a gay man, one of the main ones would be uh, rectal prolapse, which is where your arse falls out. And it can happen at any time, you know, you could just be walking along the street and then talk. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, and how you gather this fucking thing up and what you do after. Dinner. But it's not just a trouble for gay men, uh, or old men, Tommy. Um, <laughs> It could also be a problem for older women, you know, when women reach the 80s or the 90s, there's kind of nothing muscle-wise left there holding anything up. So uh, they get suffer from vaginal prolapse, which is, you know, where your vagina falls out. <laughs> I just try to picture the scene of if a woman suffered from that. Enough pal phones are at night. Uh, All right, Agnes, uh, are you coming to the bingo tonight? Uh, no, no, I can't tonight, Peggy. No, no, my fanny's fell out. <laughs> my fanny's fell out? Aye, aye. No, this morning. Uh, in the kitchen. Now uh, we are spatula. Uh, well, I was going to do that as well, but the doctor says just put cling film on it. <clears throat> but I'm probably more terrified of not having sex than I am of having sex because uh, that would mean that I wasn't in a relationship. Um, although relationships are fraught with their own difficulties, you know, pl plenty of people have been heartbroken by someone they loved. Um, and it's one of the things, you know, if you're ever going to cheat on your partner, uh, bad idea to buy a memory foam mattress, you know. <laughs> Cheating your partner on your mattress, remember, you're fucked. <laughs> Went from your work and your wife's like that. Uh, can't explain this. I don't fucking bend, aren't we? 
so I suppose, you know, and, and another thing is, being a gay man, I'm scared of being an older gay man who's single and has cats. <laughs> and it's cats plural that's more the problem. One cat's kind of alright, um, but if it's multiple cats, then you kind of get a harem. Um, and, you know, it's kind of like being a, a male spinster. Don't want that. And I never understood either why a gay man would try and fill the man-sized hole in his life with a pussy. Never got it. <laughs> um, but, main thing I'm frightened of is death. And uh, I'm kind of solved the problem by the fact that I've decided I'm going to do something that I love. Or, and I might not have got to do in the past when I'm dead. So I'm going to donate my body to uh, necrophilia. Um, <laughs> which means that I'll bring happiness to some guy at some point, And also at some point in my life, I'll, I'll be the biggest stiffy in the room. Thank you. <laughs>